Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we defeated Sabrina in the Saffron City Gym and got our fifth badge, the Marsh Badge, and it was an epic battle, I must say. Anyways, what I did is I flew here to Vermilion City via Haxiodo, thanks to his amazing ability to transport us from city to city in the blink of an eye. Anyway, where we want to go is this the building? No, that's the fishing guru's house. We don't like him. Well, we do because he gave us free stuff, but uh, I guess he's alright. Here's the chick that gave us Squirtle. Let's talk to her. How is Squirtle doing? Shellshock? He's great. He's a war turtle now. Shellshock 2.0. Anyway, we want to go here into the uh, Pokemon fan club. And uh, this guy looks suspicious. What's this? Let's see. Clefairy. Pew pew. Oh, what? Our chairman's new hobby is taking Pokemon photos. He gave me a nice print of my cute Clefairy. Wait, what? 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 Am I missing something here? Yeah, I'm sure you are. Something's not right here. Is that only in Pokemon Red and Blue? If it is, that's certainly odd. Well, you know what? Screw it, I say. You know what, we're gonna skip that. I guess I'll come back to it. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments what's going wrong here. You're supposed to get a doll from him and give it to the girl. And then you get, um, like the TM for Mimic or something? Well, I don't know. Oh well, I guess, just let me know. Okay, anyways, we're gonna fly to Celadon City. Yeah, baby! Haven't been here for a while. Hell, let's get on the bike. Well, you're gonna need to in a second here anyway. Yeah, bicycle music is so awesome in this game. I love it. Yes, I do. Love this music. Anyway, now that the Snorlax is cleared of the path here, we're going to want to go through this door. And this guy won't bother you about going through. When you come here, you'll see you're automatically put on your bicycle. That's because we are now on the cycling road. Uh, you must be on your bicycle here, and as you'll see, there's a bunch of bikers. These guys will fight you. They will not hesitate. So, we're going to want to throw... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we're going to want to throw McLeod out front. And I like to arrange these guys in the order that I want them to gain experience uh, for some odd reason. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Yeah, that's that's right. That's what I want. Call me crazy. Anyway, just so if one dies, the other one's already out in front ready to go. Anyways, you can fight these guys uh, for experience, which I might just do one of them right now. And then do some the rest off screen because they're pretty much all the same, just like the rockets. Anyway, when you get on this grass, you'll start naturally going downhill because the bicycling road is downhill. So um, you can press up to counteract it, you can move left and right, but be wary that it will you will get thrust into battles this way because these guys, you'll run right into their path like that. So you got to be watching the screen if you don't want to fight them. Anyway, there's three paths you can go here. You can go on the right, the left, or the middle side. I'm on the middle side right now. Or the, mi the middle. Yay, and this place is quite long, as you can tell. And now we come out right here. Oops, see if we can avoid this guy like the plague. Yeah. These guys have funny haircuts to me, I think. I don't know. Anyway, we're still going down. This place is long, like I said. And as soon as you hop this ledge, you regain control. You stop going downhill automatically. And that is the end of the cycling road. There's a bunch of trainers on that place that we can fight for experience, which I might need to do a little later here. <clears throat> we'll see. Anyways, after coming through that door, we arrive in Fuchsia City. Route 18, Celadon City to Fuchsia City. Yeah, there's some grass down here with some trainers and Pokemon, but it doesn't lead to anything. Nothing we need to worry about. And by the color changing palette, this signifies we are in a new city, baby, yeah. And let's get on our bike so we can check this place out. Now, it's kind of weird, we got a Pokemon swimming around right here. Uh, it's interesting because this place is actually kind of like a little mini zoo out here. I don't want to use my items, I want Zor to cut. Yeah, do that, Zor. So, you know, let's explore it from bottom to top. First of all, you can get this little nook right here, it might be hard to notice. But uh, right over here, this is the gym leader right here, Fuchsia City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Koga, the poisonous ninja master. So yeah, Koga's in here, that's our gym leader, we'll we come back here later. Nothing really to do in there, Pokemon Center's down here as well. Uh, you can also travel south here, and the palette changes, letting you know you are now on a route. And uh, you can fight these guys, or you can go around them and zigzag like I like to do. And as you'll see here, this is Sea Route 19, Fuchsia City to Seafoam Islands. So we don't have Surf, so we can't do anything about that right now, so 
We're just going to have to ignore that. Alright, so let's head back up. Alright, then over here we've got the Safari Zone Warden's Home. Now, we don't know what the Safari Zone is yet, but we can check this place out. Let's talk to the Warden here. Uh, no. Okay, so something's crazy with this guy. We don't know what he's talking about. He's got some kind of issue. Anyways, and what do we have here? This requires strength to move. Oh no, we don't have strength. So we can't get that item. Well, that blows. Well, so something's got to be done about that warden. I just don't know, though. What is this guy doing over here? I'm the fishing guru's older brother. Oh, hey! This is a guy from Vermilion City we just saw. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes, I do. Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. And we receive a good rod, which is the enhanced version of the old rod. Using this in ponds such as these, you can catch better Pokemon. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, better Pokemon than just Magikarp, so you can actually catch Goldeens and Poliwogs now. But you still can't catch those really high-end Pokemon. We, uh, we're going to have to find the older, older brother of the Fishing Gurus to receive that. But he's actually not far off from here, so that's good. Anyway, we got some people roaming around town. Don't really care what they have to say. Especially this bald guy. This conehead-looking dude. Fuchsia City Behold. It's Passion Pink. Yeah. It definitely is. Pokemon Paradise Safari Zone. What? Anyway, back over here. Our cut reset, so let's activate that again. What happened? I thought I was on my bike. Anyway, tucked over here in the corner is the Mart, which is kind of weird. I always have trouble finding that place. And we've got some little, like, little zoo exhibits here, like I said. Name, Omanyte. A Pokemon that was resurrected from a fossil. Yeah, so that adds Omanyte to our Pokedex. He was resurrected to a fossil. He was uh, an extinct Pokemon, so that's cool. What do we got here? Name, Kangaskhan. A maternal Pokemon that raises its young in a pouch on its belly. Alright, so that's Kangaskhan. He's like a... Rocky Kangaroo. Cool. Cool beans. And what have we got here? This is the Safari game Pokemon you catch. We're going to definitely check that out in a little bit. That is definitely where we want to go. It's basically like a you go in there and it's like a little closed off Pokemon reservoir and you can catch Pokemon in there. There are stipulations, but we'll get into that later. Name, Chansey. Catching one is all up to chance. Yep, so these are the Pokemon we see in the Poke Center all the time. They're definitely really rare Pokemon. So that's pretty much what this is doing. This is showcasing a lot of the cool Pokemon you can get here in the Safari Zone. You can't actually get uh, Omanyte, though, since he is an extinct Pokemon. We got Voltorb there. He's, he's kind of normal. I don't know why he's sitting there. He's a weirdo. What do we got here? Slow poke. Friendly and very slow moving. The dopey Pokemon, yeah, naturally. Where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here. Dude, who cares, man? Seriously. Alright, so here in Fuchsia City, uh, what do we want to be doing? Well, we actually want to go up here, but I'm not going to walk around. We're going to use Zord Cut. Make things a little faster here. So let's go check out this whole Safari thing. See what that's about. This whole Safari Zone nonsense. You guys know your warden's crazy, right? Hi, is it your first time here? Yes, it is. Safari Zone has four zones in it. Each zone has different kinds of Pokemon. Use Safari Balls to catch them. When you run out of time or Safari Balls, it's game over for you. Before you go, open an unused Pokemon box so there's room for a new Pokemon. Yeah, pretty much. If you don't change your Pokemon boxes, you can hold 20 in each box. If you think you're close to have caught 20, catching 20 Pokemon already, switch the box. Because if the box fills up with 20 Pokemon while you're here, you won't be able to catch any more Pokemon. So you need to go to your PC and switch over to a different box. But we don't have nearly 20. We probably have like 2 in there, so we'll be okay. Welcome to the Safari Zone! For just 500 Poke Dollars, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to join the hunt? Sure! That'll be $500, please. We only use a special Pokeball here. Let's go proceed 30 Safari Balls. So yeah, you don't need to worry about having Pokeballs come in here. We'll call you on the PA when the when you run out of Safari Balls. Alright, so like this guy said, this place has four zones. Um, there's little buildings here for rest stops where you can talk to people, but we don't need to do that. Pretty much each zone has wild grass and water here, and you can go in there, find Pokemon. I'll show you what that looks like first. And each zone has different Pokemon, like the guy said. So you're going to want to run around until you find a Pokemon. And a lot of these places have Pokemon that you can't catch anywhere else in the game. So that's why this place is so cool. Now, Tangela is here. So pretty much you don't send out your Pokemon. The way this works is you can throw bait to try to lure the Pokemon closer to you. Now, what this will do is it will keep them in battle 
it'll keep them from running, but it'll make them harder to catch when you throw the ball. And you only get 30 balls. When you run out of all your 30 balls, the game's over and you're done. Now you can also throw a rock. Now what this will do is it will anger the Pokemon and they'll have a high chance of running away. But if they do not run away, they'll be easier to catch. So you can do that if you'd like. Now if you don't want to catch this Pokemon, you can run. <clears throat> You're also on a time limit here, but it's not actually time. What it is is steps. However many steps you take uh, is m deduced from your total, which, up, as you can see in the top left corner there, is 500. So you can take only 500 steps in this place. So a nice little neat trick is that when you get in the grass, just barely click left or right, and your character will face different directions, but they will not move. Now, this will not consume your steps, so you can search in the grass infinitely. Now, it's hard to do on a keyboard, but when you're playing on a controller, it's really easy to do. So that's a little trick if you're here just for the Pokemon, but we're not. We want to get to the end of the Safari Zone, all the way to the end of the fourth zone. Because there's something cool you can do here once you do that. So we're just going to kind of surf through the zones here, not really looking for anybody in particular. Since our team is already filled out, there's also nice items you can get here. I'm not going to worry too much about them. There are some really good TMs here as well. Uh, but... Like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way for them since you are limited stepwise here. So let's just move straight through this place. It's kind of a maze. It's a little hard to navigate. So we've already seen quite quite a few rare Pokemon here. Tangela is semi-rare. Uh, Parasect and Tauros are definitely really rare Pokemon. I believe this is the only place in the game you can catch Tauros. So if you you know feel like you want to catch him, go ahead. And what do we got? Cubone. Cubone's quite rare, but... Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully I don't catch him. Oh, well, fuck. Okay, guess we got Cubone. Cool. You know I killed your mother, Cubone, back in the other place. Yeah, nickname, nope. So yeah, cool, we got a Cubone. whoop de damn do Anyway. Moving on, we are now in Zone 3. Uh-huh. Now what we want to do here is move up through this grass. We got a Nidoran here, Nidoran female. Oh, damn it, I keep doing that. I'm getting too A-happy. Oh, well, shit, okay, we got a Nidoran. See, I'm running into these easy Pokemon, and I keep catching them. Well, whatever, I guess. It's great, yay. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head through here, and as you'll notice, we got a few lakes onto the left here. We're going to want to stick to these, following up the right side here. Then we're going to want to head around these trees. This is right in our path, so I'll pick it up. TM40. Cool beans. Don't know what it is. Might be good. Might suck. Hey, this one's right in our path, too, so we'll pick it up. Protein. You are going to want to leave room in your inventory for at least two items right now, though, before you get to the end of this place. So let's see where we are uh, step-wise. we still got 229 steps. Yeah, so we've exhausted half of them, so if you go out of your way to explore, you won't really make it to the end of this place and get the prize you need. And they never really state that there's a prize for doing so, but there is. And uh, they're both key items, and you need to get them, so do do so. Let's get out of here. Okay, and we are finally in Zone 4. You're pretty much at the end here. There's nothing really else to do. So you want to get this item right here. This is one of the two important items, the gold teeth. And nothing else over here, I don't think, no. So let's see what this says. Request notice. Please find the Safari Warden's lost gold teeth. Okay, so those gold teeth we just found are the Warden's gold teeth, apparently. And they were about four steps from the sign, so come on, people. Really? They're around here somewhere. Reward offered. Contact Warden. Okay, so we're going to definitely want to bring those gold teeth to the Warden. And we find TM32 just sitting right here. And then you've got this auspicious or suspicious house just sitting here with nowhere else to go. So let's head inside. And we got a guy in here. You the fishing guru? Ah, oh, finally! You're the first person to reach the secret house! I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. And we receive HMO3. HMO3 is Surf. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across water, and this HM isn't disposable. You can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. And actually we are because HMO3 is probably one of the most useful HMs in the game. And like I've explained, you can use HM multiple times. And, uh... With this one, we can teach Pokemon Surf, and by doing that, we can finally cross bodies of water. So, that will open up pretty much the entire world to us now. We can go anywhere. Uh, we can teach it to Shellshock or Beast, but definitely Shellshock would gain more from it since he's water type. He'll get the same type attack bonus, so let's do that. Yes, we are going to get rid of Bubble Beam because Surf is 
ultimately more powerful and just all around a better move. And it also works for the surfing thingy. So we can actually try it out here. Let's use surf. So in the other games you can talk to the water to surf, but... Oh, nope. Okay, well I guess we have to get the gym badge here before we can actually use surf. But I'll explain it to it while we're waiting for our steps to run out. Pretty much you can surf on top of water and move across it just like when you're walking. Uh, but there will be random encounters when you're surfing on water just like when you're in wild grass. And you'll find a bunch of water type Pokemon instead of the regular Pokemon, so... That's cool, I guess. Right, I don't want to be in the grass. I'm just going to walk around until the steps run out so we can get out of this place. Are we almost there? Yeah, 46 steps. Okay. Do, do. The music in here is kind of cool, too. It's the uh, music when your Pokemon's evolving, but, um, you know, re-looped like a million times. There we go. Ding, dong, time's up. The Safari game is over. All right, naturally, any Pokemon you catch, you get to keep. So it's definitely worth it for 500 Poke Dollars. There's some good loot in there, and there's also some good Pokemon. All right, so let's have Zora use Cut here one more time. We're going to go to the Warden and turn in, uh, give him back his teeth and see what happens, and then we'll end off the video there. And after that, all we have pretty much left to do is go face the gym here, and then we're actually done here. There's not that much to do here. So yeah, that'll be good. I do need to level up though, so I might face some of the trainers on um, bicycle or cycling road. I don't know. All right, warden. Scope gave the gold teeth to the warden. Now well, let's see if he can talk right now. The warden popped in his teeth. Thanks, kid. No one could understand a word that I said. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. And we receive HMO4. So yes, we just got two HMs right in a row. Let's check out what HMO4 is since they don't specifically state it. Unless you talk to them again, probably. It contains strength. Teach strength to a Pokemon? Yes, we're going to teach this to Beast since he is the normal type Pokemon and will gain more from it. Yes. Alright, we should delete... Oh my god, these are all good moves. But... I don't see myself using... Well, let's delete Amnesia. Fuck it. I won't be using it. So anyways, with strength, we can now move boulders like this. Now, this isn't the only instant you, instance you have to use it. Uh, you can use it many times in the game. It's actually required, so we will use that here. And what behind here is a rare candy. So that's good. Well, we got two HMs in this video. We went through the Safari Zone and made it to Fuchsia City and did some cool stuff here. So in the next episode, we are going to actually head over to Fuchsia Gym and face that place and try to get our sixth badge. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Goodbye, everybody, and have a great day.